Hey, it's Eric here at Peace Street Classic Cars, and this is a super cool 1962 Chevrolet, um, 62 Chevy C10. Yeah, sorry, a little brain fart there. Anyways, really aggressive exhaust. I'm gonna crank it up here in just a second. Nice uh, built, it's got a built uh, V8, small block V8, and then a uh, new uh, uh, five-speed transmission was just rebuilt and installed it shifts I mean way way better you know the old three speeds taken out and five speed put in so I'll uh, take you for a little drive here and show you around the truck this one's this one's really fun fires up with ease got power steering I'm just gonna park it in gear. I was trying to get where I could, I thought it was level enough here where I could show you the uh, pop the hood like I usually do in my videos and show you the engine running and everything. But I mean, super, super solid, nice clean little, you know, simple engine detail. Inner fender wells are in great shape. Just a nice little Edelbrock performer intake and uh, Holly carb, or I'm sorry, that may be an um, Edel, uh, Holly performer intake. Um, but yeah, power steering works awesome. Manual brakes, uh, so they stop great. And like I said, it's not an expensive, it's not an expensive upgrade to put the power booster on or even put a power booster in dual bowl. They're you know 150, 200 bucks plus installation. So a lot of our a lot of our clients like to do that. Um, pretty cool truck. It's kind of a shop truck that get previous owner had uh you know the pinstriping done it's just it's a fleet side i love the pinstriping down the side here let me back up so i can show you the whole thing uh chrome wheels great uh tires in fact they look new with the little white stripe on them i love the look every i really love the everything about the look about this truck i almost i wish the interior was like the uh the bed nice awesome red patina with the red wood in the in the bed and this uh, pinstriping is actually old, all the paint and stuff like that. So it's kind of fading a little bit. It gives it a really cool patina. Back bumper just looks old and original. Um, that Peach State 1962 plate is actually uh, legally licensed and tagged in the state of Georgia for this truck. So if you're a if you're a Georgia resident and you buy this, you'll uh, you can you can reuse that tag, I believe. Um, little J Cooper Automotive painted on the side. And what's really cool is I think you could get away with removing the, the or changing the door without having to mess with the other stripes and, uh, um, you know, sand that off or smooth it off or uh, wet sand it off or however 
uh, remove it and fade it in. So I don't think it'd be too hard if you wanted to take that off. And then to top it all off, the top is, uh, it's pollen season here in Georgia, but the top has got this kind of sparkly uh, red metallic paint. So taking a closer look, the body overall is pretty straight. When you get right up on it, there's typical little rust pops. There's one there, there's a couple little spots at the bottom of the door. Pretty typical there. Walking around, actually pretty straight. Um, I like trucks like this, the way they are. There's a little, little uh, skim coat pop there. Um, I'm saying that to say that if, uh, I think if you wanted to make this a nicer truck, the body's straight enough that with some minimal body work, I think, uh, I think you could put a nicer paint job on it. Same here, this pretty typical little skim coat that looks like a little welding and a little Bondo there in the corner. It's pretty common, same here uh, on these trucks. So yeah, overall, body-wise, if you were thinking, hey, I actually wanna take this truck and strip it down and repaint it, um, I think you'd have a little bit of body work to do, but not, you know, you're not banging out anything crazy on it. The hood's in great shape. Um, drip rail running down is in good shape. Don't see any rust on that. It is a custom cab. Let me go underneath the truck and take a look. Inner fender, actually, this is the passenger side inner fender. Looks really good. Don't see any rust there. Underneath the truck. Rocker actually in good shape. Little spot right there only. And then, yep, floor pan looks good under here. It looks like there was a rocker, inner rocker replacement. And actually that back cab corner doesn't look like it's in bad condition. Well, Flowmaster, this is why the exhaust is so aggressive. Flowmasters with the turn downs. Everything looks good under here. Like I said, they just installed that tranny. Looks like they cleaned and maybe uh, undercoated the frame. I don't see any uh, rust. I don't see that it looks like anybody's covering anything up or anything like that. Your frame mounts look good. Yeah, just nice and clean underneath. <laughs> Same up here, frame looks good. I don't see any damage or signs of it being in a front end collision that I could tell. Definitely sits a little low in a good way. Ah. Again, this fender well looks really good. Actually, surprisingly pretty rust free and underneath. Ah, I think this is the original cab corner back here as well. A little spot here on the corner with a, a little spot of rust there, trying to get the camera to adjust, there we go. Rocker on this side, other than that, looks pretty good. Again, cab supports are in great shape, frame mounts, all the frame. I mean, it's a, actually a very, very clean truck up underneath it. I also didn't want to forget to show the bottoms of the doors here. A couple of little spots, looks like there's been some rust. Um, and they make the, the replacement bottom of the door replacement kits just some crusties there that's actually not rust that's just undercoating peeling it's also got a, a tow hitch which is cool be nice to tow a boat or you know something lightweight looks like somebody kind of backyard installed it but it still looks good older shocks 12 bolt rear end Yeah, really clean underneath. Glass looks like it's in good shape. Weather stripping is old um, all the way around. This weather stripping actually appears to be newer. Uh, when, this windshield's probably not original. Uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. A little fading on the edges, but I don't see any cracks. Going inside, lots of little custom things. Previous owner did. Harley Davidson stuff. A little patch there. Buck, uh, bench seat out of a late model Chevrolet a little pinstriping pretty cool very comfortable I'm six foot two I'm sitting in this truck and I feel fairly comfortable I wish the seat scooted back just a hair more but I mean I could drive this super cool inside the uh, CD players not turning on there are a couple speakers in here um, the aftermarket gauges are working the original gauges I believe are not 
lights work. I don't, I think the turn signals work. Let's see if we can get them to work. No, yeah, maybe not. So those aren't too hard to hook up, but I, I'm, not, I'm gonna say that they're maybe not working. So I tried to get these in from Summit, but I gotta go pick them up. They're about three bucks. If I get one in, I'll pop it on, but they're not expensive to order online. Carpet looks brand new. Um, actually, put this need to glue that back on. I was they're on there, and then I just from pushing it, they if you don't put a little glue on them, they almost always pop off. Um, oh, there's the other speaker. Let's see what else. Old school gun rack. I just decided to leave it in. There's the tag for the truck. So yeah, well there you have it. Um, 1962 C10 fleet side, cool truck. Make a great shop truck. Uh, actually, surprisingly pretty solid. I wouldn't call this, in my opinion, a minimal rust truck. Aside from the rockers and the doors, everything else is very very solid. Um, and I'd say basically rust free from what I can tell. So yeah. PeachStreetClassicCars.com is our website. We look forward to hearing from you. We got our phone number on there and give us a call. These trucks are selling pretty fast right now.